Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red this uh, Thursday morning. Uh, warm, uh, but uh, questionable as to how the weather will work out. So Matthew um, continues in 13, uh, chapter 13, verse 4. He, <clears throat> Jesus says these words. And as he sowed, some seed fell beside the road and the birds came and ate them up. So, and as he sowed, so the sower had sown the seed. It says, and as he sowed. Now, the reality of sowing in this country is we dig trenches and all the kind of the machinery makes it all happen. But way back then, and still, I think, in some places now, uh, when they sow, they basically just throw the seed everywhere. Soil is precious, and they just look to sow the seed everywhere. And way back then, they just used to cast the seed out, throw it everywhere. So wherever it went, it had the potential to grow. So the sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, so he threw the seed out and the seed ended up everywhere. And some in this verse ended up on the road. Now, it's not really very wise to end up sowing seed on the road because there are so many obstacles that are going to nullify the capacity for the seed to create a germination. And uh, even if that succeeds, to be able to withstand all of the traffic that's going to come passing by on the road. But actually, long before, long before the opportunity to germinate, there's a whole host of enemies that are coming to take away the seed long before the seed even gets a chance to germinate. So Jesus says in this verse, so I went to sow, he sowed some and some fell on the road and birds came and ate them up. So the birds came and ate them up. So there's this potential for, as it were, feeding uh, uh, nature uh, to enable them to survive. But the seed uh, has been put on the road, thrown on the road, and the birds came and ate it up. So what he's saying is that the birds came and that seed never had an opportunity to ever grow because all of the natural things that would make it grow, when it was never given the chance to grow. Now, we know that the seed represents the word of God. And the word of God is anything God says, both in terms of what's been recorded in the Bible, but also, as it were, the Rama word of God and the Logos word of God. So the Logos being the Bible, the Rama being the Holy Spirit speaking. The seed has been sown. So when the word of God has been sown, thrown out, some lands on, as it were, difficult places, the road, and the birds come and snatch it away. So there are many enemies that are seeking to snatch away what God is trying to import by way of truth into our lives. And there are many enemies that are coming to take away, to make sure that the seed doesn't get sown uh, by taking it away, by disturbing it, by making it not go through the process. The truth, Jesus said, will set you free. But the only way the truth has a chance to set you free is if the truth germinates, if the truth is believed. And the concept of believing is to germinate, to, as it were, to bring forth life, to split the seed that it might bring forth life. But this seed, because it fell on the road, we never had an opportunity to germinate and because the birds come and take it away. We carry on tomorrow. God bless you.